In this video, I'm gonna be making some pumpkin bourbon balls and some pumpkin uh, rum balls. This is from dessertfor2.com. I will leave the link in the description below. If you want uh, the typed instructions, you can just go there and click on it and print it out just like I did. Now, their recipe is just for bourbon, but I had rum here at the house too, and so I thought I'm gonna try both ways to see which one I like better. I really like bourbon and I really like rum. So uh, I wanna see uh, which which way I like it better with bourbon or rum. Might like them both equally. Uh, but what you see here is a, a duplicate. Uh, you really only need these ingredients for the, the bourbon. And then I have the duplicate ingredients out here for the, the rum. So you need 20 Nella wafer cookies and you're gonna need extra for garnish and there's still plenty left in the box this was a brand new box so there's still plenty left in the box for garnish and that's that was plenty for both recipes you need half a cup of finely diced pecans these are just chopped pecans so I plan on you have to put your cookies in the food processor I plan on putting these uh, pecans in the food processor as well uh, to get them smaller you need half a cup of powdered sugar, half teaspoon of cinnamon, fourth teaspoon of ground ginger, and a pinch of nutmeg. You need two tablespoons of bourbon, which I used the Wild Turkey 101 bourbon. So I also used two, uh, for this recipe, I also used the same amount, two tablespoons of the uh, Jamaica rum. And then you need one tablespoon of pumpkin puree. So I've only been able to find it in just a regular can. You're gonna have a lot left over. If you, if you have a cat like we do, your cat might like the rest of it. You can share it with your cat. But anyway, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pulverize the um, vanilla wafers for both recipes, and then I'm gonna pulverize the chopped pecans for both recipes. half cup measuring cup right here and I'm just gonna make sure that that gave me enough I should do that over the bowl oh yeah it definitely gave me half a cup definitely gave me half half and a little bit more so so 20 cookies is plenty. So this is what I had that was over a half a cup uh, for both recipes. So I just put it in a bowl and I'm gonna set it to the side and that'll be probably enough topping, um, I would think for both recipes. And if I need more, then I can always crush more. Uh, but I didn't clean my food processor or anything. I'm gonna uh, put my pecans in here now and I'm just gonna pulverize those. And uh, I'm gonna do, um, both uh, recipes worth at the same time and then I'll just measure out a half a cup again for each one. I'm gonna do the same thing, like I said, twice. I'm gonna do uh, the same thing you see me do with for the bourbon. I'm gonna do it again for the rum. I just don't feel the need to show it twice on, on the video, but I will be doing the same thing for both recipes. So you want to combine your dry ingredients, your cookie crumbs, your powdered sugar, your pecans, and your spices, your uh, cinnamon and ginger, and then your pinch of nutmeg. Combine those in a bowl. And then we're gonna take our uh, bourbon and our pumpkin, and we're gonna put that in a a bowl or cup or whatever you have and combine those together. And you want to pour this into your, um, over your crumb mixture and you're gonna stir it very, very well to combine. So 
So I have both mixtures here and I just kept stirring until I didn't see any more white from the powdered sugar. But now honestly, this does not make a lot. You can see that there's not a lot in these balls. But what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, roll out a ball, like a tablespoon worth, and then you have your extra cookie crumbs. If you want to roll it in the cookie crumbs or if you have extra pecans, if you want to roll it in the pecans and then um, lay it. It did not say what to lay it on. I'm gonna lay it on a cookie sheet with parchment paper because you're just gonna put these in the refrigerator and you're gonna chill them for one hour. And so I just decided to put mine on a cookie sheet. I added the parchment paper because I'm lazy and I just won't have to wash the pan. Uh, so that's just me. Uh, but I'm gonna start rolling these out into balls. And like I said, I'll do the same thing for the uh, bourbon that that I'm going to do for the Jamaica rum and I'm just going to use my uh, my hands in the refrigerator to chill for one hour. I'm gonna uh, have a pan. I'm gonna put a B on this side and an R on this side just for the video, just so that we know that this side is the bourbon and this side is the rum and we'll be back in an hour. I've left these in the refrigerator for an hour and I just took them out and I put them in a bowl and now we're gonna give them a try. Okay, are we reviewing this? <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we're not reviewing the liquor. Okay, we have our uh, pumpkin bourbon balls and our pumpkin rum balls. Try the bourbon balls first because that is what the recipe actually um, called for. It says uh, that uh, the, on the website, it says they like to serve them cold, but some people like room temperature. Mm. That's really good. Can't taste pumpkin at all. But, um, you get the burn from the bourbon. <laughs> and the pecans, wow, there's a lot of pecans. You know what? That is only two tablespoons of bourbon. That's strong. Just so you know. Yeah. These aren't as sweet as like a traditional bourbon ball. No. They're, they're a little more um, nutty. Even though these have powdered sugar, just like a bourbon ball uses lots of powdered sugar. Um, I don't know if you all counted. I got nine of these balls in each recipe, so if you wanted to make enough for like a party, you're gonna have to make a lot. Make, yes, you're gonna have to like triple this recipe because I think these are really good size, and uh, there were only two, nine. three bites. Yes, uh, but now uh, that I really taste, I get the texture of the pecans. Mm -hmm. But you, I get the flavor of the pecans too. Yes, but you really taste that bourbon yeah. strong. It's really like a bourbon pecan ball. <laughs> and the cookie, the Nella wafer, it just adds a different <clears throat> texture. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a, a way to get it to your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's not sticky. Okay, let's try the rum. Pick out a yeah, big one and you, you can have it again. But now it does make sure that it says when you chop your uh, pecans don't get it you know don't make it into crumbs mm -hmm. don't make it into a paste because that would be easy to do but you can you can easily put them in a uh, your cookies in a ziploc bag and use a, a roller um you know and do it that way i still don't get pumpkin mm -hmm. <laughs> that rum is a little quieter as far as it's not as like sharp in your face flavor like the bourbon is, mm -hmm. but it's still strong. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can definitely taste the rum, but it's not. Bourbon is a sharper flavor. It is. You know. It's good though. I like it both ways. 
Um, both are good. If you are a, a, a bourbon drinker and you love bourbon, you're going to enjoy that. If you like rum, you're going to like the rum. I think I like the rum just a little better though. See, than the really, I think I like the bourbon better. Yeah, I mean, and I love bourbon balls. Uh, we haven't had bourbon balls in a few years. I would like, you know, we have plenty of bourbon here for bourbon balls. Um, yeah, it only takes a couple tables. Yeah, please. it doesn't take much at all to make good bourbon balls. But I, I really think I like the rum. So that just the rum's that, good. That just tells me that there's no telling if you don't have bourbon or rum and there's another alcohol that you like, you could substitute whatever, the two tablespoons for whatever you have. Um, I would be willing to try this with anything. And some people might think it sounds crazy to like try vodka. I would do it, why not? I some mean, things would be like rubbing alcohol out there though. It know. would, it, yeah, some things would, uh, but I think there's a lot that would go in these. So I would say if you've got the other ingredients. Try it out. Yeah, give it a shot uh, because I, they were very, very easy to make. Just know that you only get nine if you make them this size. So like I said in the beginning, I'll have a link for you in the description below and thanks for watching.